It's pinball. Now, if Pokemon is known for three things, it's pumping out sequels to a time crunch that limits their creativity, this damn tree, and a plethora of side games. I bought Pokemon Rumble five times. Stop. Now, the first spin-off game released after Red and Blue was Pocket Monster Stadium, which I've already covered. Look at that depressed, hairless yam. Actually, don't. Do me a favor and don't. Alright, we've got a whole world full of amazing, magical creatures that can do just about anything conceivable. Stop everything, is that a ball? So they made pinball. It's pinball. Pokemon Pinball is split into two boards, red and blue. Twice counts as a pattern, right? They both function the same, they're just shaped a little different, and different Pokemon come out to get their asses kicked. They've got all the usual pinball bells and whistles. You've got a ball, paddles, bumpers, um, triangles, frustration, simply asking too much of me, and then you got Pokemon type stuff added. Like catching Pokemon, and evolving Pokemon, and moving towns and areas, and bosses and mini games, uh, allegedly. Do I suck? No, it's the game that's wrong. And it even has a battery slot on the cartridge for that realistic pinball feel. So if you like the idea of a portable pinball game with a bestiary, well, okay, on honestly, I fucking hate this game. It feels like total RNG! The physics... <laughs> the physics is bums! You can hit the ball with the same spot on the paddle with the same timing and it'll go in wildly different directions. If it doesn't just phase through your paddle. Pikachu, what the fuck?! The lowest score on the leaderboard is 100 million points and it's all I can do to hit half of that. I know it's tough to simulate a physics engine in a Game Boy game, but I feel like I need to be a gravity genius to get anywhere in this. Do I look like a genius to you?